Welcome to Enox Engineering, I'm Alan. This week I'll be using some aluminium offcuts to make a clamp which fits on the milling machine pendant to hold a three axis readout. Rather than fit the readout onto a wall or the back of the machine involving drilling more holes, I decided to fit it on the milling machine pendant where the controls are. So it will just be above the on off switches and the feed switches. So it's in a handy location and this will swivel with the rest of the pendant to wherever I need it. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. I found these two semicircles of 15mm thick aluminium. These are just off cuts and I think I might be able to make a clamp out of this. What I've done is just mill the face flat on both of them, put them together. What I'll do is put two cap heads through so this will clamp together, machine the bore so it will clamp onto a pipe and then make a hole so I can locate my digital readout display onto the milling machine pendant. Okay I've set my four jaw chuck up. I've put the two half circles in so that the jaw is holding each one and then these are clamped together and I've set it up using my centre. You can see there I've set it so that the centre is about two millimetre off centre so that I cut more of a circle on this side than on this side because I need a space from the edge of the circle to a hole that I have to drill. Having half this circle already broken away, cut into, I can't put a drill down here so it's going to be difficult to sort of get the hole started. So we'll see how we go. The bore in the centre of this four jaw chuck is bigger than 30mm so I've got no problems there of going straight past the depth into the chuck. So I need to really get a hole in the middle of this. The only way I can think of getting a hole in this is using an end mill in the tailstock and hopefully that will just cut through and give me a hole to start. So that's gone straight through. Now I might be able to get my boring bar down there. Okay, I've swapped the end mill for a boring bar. Twenty nine point five. is 30.06 
cutter on centre line to the part. Just fitted the cap heads, threaded the 6mm M6 cap head, cap head on that side so that's finished. All I need to do now is drill a hole in here 10mm. I tried it on a piece of 30mm pipe, it doesn't grip too well, so what I'm going to do is take about 10 15 thou off this face so it will the bore will close down and it will grip better. This is a 30mm bar of steel that's just clamped to it. So now I can put that back in the forge jaw chuck and just tidy up the outside. What I've done is I'm holding the 30mm bar in the forge jaw chuck. I'm gripping the clamp I'm making onto that bar. Just trying to set up the so what I want to do is slacken this side off, tighten this side up. The reason I'm not using a dial indicator to true the part up 
is that the surface is too rough to get a decent reading. Just touching there. It's quite a bit clear there, so slacking this off again. All I'm doing now is turning the tool in, so it's just touching on this part and the opposite side. I think I'll leave it at that, it's not that far out, so just check everything's tight. Move the tool out of the way, see how it runs. cutting all the way around there, it's cutting there. All I have to watch is that I don't hit the top of the cap heads. taking all the rough edges off. Let's put a chamfer on it. cleaned up most of it. Just take the sharp edges off with the file. That's finished. Okay here's the part fitted to the the pipe. This is the milling machine control box and the hole that I drilled in at the front there is so that I could fit a digital readout screen here rather than have it on another bracket this moves in and out and you can twist the bottom so I thought I'd put the digital readout on here so that it's using the same post without having to drill another couple of holes in somewhere and fit another bracket. The readout wires will come along this bar at the top into the back of the unit. This is the digital readout display of my lathe this one has two axes. I've ordered a three axis one for the milling machine and the display cases are exactly the same except the new one will have three axes instead of two. Well that's it for today. Hope that was useful and interesting and if it was why not subscribe. We'll see you next time on Enoch's Engineering.